and welcome back to my channel. March for me was not a very good month bookwise, like life-wise, pretty good. Went to Edinburgh, had a great time. But then I caught a cold and yeah, that's when things went downhill. If you had watched my video right at the beginning of the year talking about all the books I wanted to read and my reading goal, you will know that in March I wanted to read Mythos by Stephen Fry. So this is all Greek gods kind of retold. So right at the very start sort of how the cosmos began, like the titans and then how we have the gods that we know, like Zeus. What is also really great about this book is that it includes their Roman name as well. Because a lot of times I know like the Roman name for like both gods, like Aphrodite and Venus and like Mars and Ares but there is somewhere I feel like you only know one name and not the other so it's kind of nice to like have both. I'm pretty sure Apollo is the only one who um, retains the same name in both but I could be wrong about that one. Seriously I've read so many facts like literally like I can't even remember anymore. I am just under halfway with this book. I am uh, 156 pages and this book is like 400 and something I'm pretty sure. Just over 400. I am really enjoying this book. Like this book is so like up my alley of just like history and Greeks and all that stuff. Like I love it. So I am really excited about the fact that another one is coming which is all about um uh, like, our he like our heroes. The heroes. The only thing I'm disappointed with is that I just didn't get further. Um, by Saturday, so technically by the end of the month, I will definitely be further into this. I'm going to London tomorrow straight after work. So I will read there and I'll read back on, um, on the way home on Saturday. So pretty much the only reason I did not get very far with this book is basically I got a cold. I don't know what happened. I kind of thought I would at least get maybe a couple of hours reading done on the train to and from Edinburgh because, you know, it's a seven hour trip. Although half of that, well, not half of that, but um, an hour of that is like the underground and waiting for like your connection train. And I really thought I would read more, but I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was because I was traveling for such a length of time that my brain just goes a bit funny. I've had this before actually, when I've traveled to Croyd in Devon, it's such like a long journey that I've gone to read and I just start kind of getting a bit headachey. It kind of like, it doesn't feel like a regular train journey with like to London, which is like an hour and a bit, or to Brighton, which is like 40 minutes. Like it feels like such a much more heavier journey. So I hardly read, I read maybe an hour or so maybe I think on the way there, I had to stop and start again because I started to get a headache. Didn't read at all on the way back. I was just exhausted and my head hurt and I just, I'm so gutted I couldn't have read more. And then the cold struck and then that was kind of it. And I did continue reading this for the first few days when I started to feel ill, I did carry on, but it's such a heavy book and it's just so full of information and anyway on my lunch break I can feel my eyes getting tired because you know I get up at half four like four half four and, and you know I'm doing a delivery and I'm knackered so by the time I have lunch I'm like I'm ready for a nap at that point so I can feel my eyes getting heavy with any book but it's just so full on so I did have to stop reading this because it was just getting to a point where I was thinking I'm not actually gonna don't get me wrong, I could probably couldn't tell you any information I've learned from this. There's only so much of it that I've learned. But I just thought I would get to a point where I was just rereading the same bit and I was just tired. So that is my kind of, yeah, my little, my little mythos journey so far. But I am really enjoying it. That being said, and the crapness of like the first half, like sort of middle bit of the month, I am really enjoying it and I can't wait to get back into it. So I, because I realised I just wasn't getting anywhere with mythos, I decided to pick up something different. Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lu. This is the first book of hers I've actually read. I'm pretty sure I have one of her series um, on my TBR list but I still haven't bought it or read it. Oops. I literally actually finished this today. So the reason I picked this was um, it's quite a small feeling book. It's like 250 pages before you get to like the little intros of the other books um, that are available and I kind of just thought I need something that is not gonna just require any form of brain concentration that I can just read and enjoy and it's not gonna make me want to just like explode my head. So my review of this is going to be coming from a background of I have I haven't read the comics, I can only talk about Bruce's slash Batman's personality gauged on films that I've seen. I mean, everyone knows that, come on, you know, he's the Dark Knight, he's gritty, he ain't all happy. The other reason I picked this book is actually because it's um, on one of the Goodreads um, groups I'm in. This is the TBR for the month, or one of the four. And my review of this comes from, yeah, like I said, uh, a non-comic book related view before people start like having a go at me. A, I really like the idea of this series because it's them when they're younger, their first foray into who they become. And I think for Batman, this is kind of like a really important book because, you know, although we always get the flashbacks of like Batman when he's younger, it's always the same moment of when his parents killed. This is so much nicer because we're getting a such 
better insight. You kind of actually forget, oh yeah, Bruce Wayne had to grow up. Like, he had to grow up as Bruce Wayne. Not only just, you know, son of the Waynes, he also had to grow up as his parents got slaughtered. It's it's like, a, you kind of forget that part. It's a really amazing insight. Um, I said, like, this is a completely real biographical book that insight into how he thinks and how he processes things um with things you know he's come to this sort of silent agreement with the media fine you can shove your cameras in my face and get the pictures of me but he can kind of steer the directions of how he wants things to do you know he's even from a young age he's very big on carrying on his parents work at wayne tech and sort of the um i hate this word philanthropy there we go if i don't think about it i can say it and you can see that he hasn't become, he's not like grizzled and gritty as a teenager. He's still kind of, not lighthearted, don't get me wrong, the kid's parents are dead. But he's still seeing the good in people, especially in the storyline. He becomes um, involved in a police case and that he still is trying to see the good even in the bad, which is quite nice. And he also gets to be an Arkham, which is also really fun. I like that there are no like hints to origin, like the Joker or the Penguin or anyone else. I like that this is literally just like, no, this is just him and he's younger. He doesn't have a run in with someone that he's later going to become such and such. There are only two people in this who are relative to when it's like, when he's older and that is enough for me um what is also nice is seeing bruce working with friends and with people you know when he gets older he's very much like i work alone and i'm very doesn't want help and all that crap because you know he's ridiculous and um, people die around him and i get it so that in itself is really nice and uh especially like when i watch the batman films i'm always just like will you please hug alfred like this man is basically your dad be nicer because in the uh last chris Nolan film that bit when michael kane like started crying because he was like you know i look after you and watching you like run around this city running yourself ragged like do you know how much that breaks my heart that that moment was everything like that's all i ever wanted like once i got older like my favorite film growing up as a kid was batman forever i know it's terrible but as a kid that's the only batman i ever watched i freaking loved it it probably says a lot about me now when i got older i just wanted bruce to show some appreciation and some love towards alfred because this man raised him i like i get he's employed and he works there but he could have just shipped him off to a boarding school like this man loves him so in this it's really nice that when alfred is in danger and stuff you can see how much bruce cares about him and how much he loves him and how so much of what Alfred does you can see the love behind it it's so nice and again seeing him work with people with his friends because when you think of Bruce Wayne you don't think of him as having friends you think of him as like oh Bruce Wayne is like my day job like my real life is Batman like that I that's how I look at Bruce I don't think of him as like it's almost like I think of him as Batman and Bruce Wayne is his alter ego it's like if he could he'd be Batman 24 7 he has to do Bruce Wayne to keep up appearances so it's nice to see that side of him kind of almost happier before the full weight of like being the savior of Gotham really hits him so it is really nice because I feel like I'm never going to get this in a film unless there is some kind of um like prequel film or a film that actually reflects back on his childhood and we see this different version of him I really like this book I gave it like four stars I thought it was really good there weren't like any like oh my god moments because I could see stuff coming in regards to people and stuff so that was fine but it was still a really good book and it's one of these things because obviously you know he's going who he's going to grow up to be you know that like he's not going to get killed or anything is going to happen but it's the I feel like that's almost like a bigger challenge because you have this person who we know is going to become the Cape Crusader how do you tie up like a story that you know you can't give shocks of oh my god he might get killed he may he may not because you know he's not but I found this really enjoyable and I just love that these books are a series but you can pick them up on their own so next month which is when this video actually gets posted will be the month the month of april i'm going to continue reading mythos it's like it's one of these weird things because if i hadn't have gotten ill i would never have read batman so it's kind of like i would never have finished anything for this month it would have just been that book i mean i may have gotten to the point of like two weeks in uh to like the end of the month and thought actually i might like like read something else so i want to finish a book so yeah it's kind of like swings and roundabouts if i hadn't gotten ill i would never have read i probably never would have read another book this month so who knows so for april i'm going to carry on reading mythos hopefully i can finish that i really really want to finish it and if i do i will just pick up another random book um i might pick up throne of glass next month this month um maybe or i might pick one of the books that featured in my birthday haul possibly so maybe something like um the wicked deep 
or um, like Pinch of Magic. I've got a couple actually that seem smaller than I remember them being or I thought they'd be bigger. So depending on how much time I have left in April, um, I may pick up one of those. If it's looking like I'm not gonna finish another book, again um if i'm not going to finish mythos then i'll do what i did now and like two weeks towards the end of the month i will um pick it up and read something else yeah i'm thinking maybe something like that i don't know i'm not sure give me like your thoughts and what you think maybe like go check out the previous video and see like the books that were featured and then yeah comment below with which ones you like you think i should read or if there's anything else you think i should maybe pick up sometimes i need help deciding what i should read i just like i'm just indecisive but hopefully, like I said, tomorrow and Saturday's um, train journeys will just be a nice boost and kind of get me further. Because sometimes you think like, oh, I won't actually probably get that much read. And then you suddenly look back and think, oh, holy crap, I really have actually like read like way more than I thought I had. So hopefully that will like give me the boost and what I need. Thank you so much for joining me again this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. As I said, comment below A, with what books you think I should read and my reads for the month and what you have been reading, of course. If you enjoyed this video, then smash that like button and show me your thumbs. Your support and love means the world to me. And of course, if you are new, hello and welcome. I hope you enjoyed this video that seemed a little bit more held together. Normally my videos seem a lot all over the place like my brain just goes scatter and um, for once this video seemed very held together and zero tangent happens it's a very very rarity i hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the subscribe button and join the family and so you never miss out on another video i don't know actually what's happening with my voice i suddenly realized it's like going really funny okay i'm still i'm sure i'm still ill i'm sure there's something wrong with me when i keep waking up in the morning like four in the morning the first thing i think is i'm getting another cold it, it's like it's not gone it's still here it's just festering it's gonna take me down when I least expect it. As long as I'm fine for tomorrow, I really don't care. I'm gonna go see, um, not Fall Out Boy, Panic at the Disco. I'm always like, which one haven't I seen? Panic at the Disco. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna party my ass away, which is gonna be quite tiring, as I would have been up for work tomorrow. So it's gonna be a very long day for me. I love how I said for once this has been a very held together video with no rambling and tangents. See? I know I wouldn't be this lucky. Enjoy the rest of your Monday, and I hope you have a great week. I will see you next week. Bye.